Hi everyone, today we're going to be using the ESM Fold model on the Neurosnap platform to basically predict the structure of a beta lactamase protein. So if you don't know, Neurosnap is a platform that offers a lot of different machine learning uh, tools for bioinformatics and biology. And ESM Fold is one of the services being offered on the platform right now, and it's totally free to use. Anybody can use it for free. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go take the sequence, the amino acid sequence for beta lactamase, we're going to input it over here in the FASA format. First, we're going to remove some of the garbage, as a lot of this is unnecessary. We're going to keep this part, though, just for information. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see the recycling steps. So those number of recycles is essentially a way for the model to build off of its prediction. And the higher this number, generally the better uh, and more accurate the output prediction is going to be. But in this case, because beta-lactamase is a fairly small uh, protein, number six recycling steps should be fine. So then we're just going to run the job. This is going to take a little bit of time, usually a couple minutes. And after that, we're going to resume the recording. So as we can see, the job is now complete. It took about one minute on Neurosnap. And the structure looks very good. It seems that everything is predicted correctly. You'll notice that there's this long little tail at one of the termini. This is pretty normal as proteins termini tend not to be very well conserved. So little tails like these are quite common. And if we compare it to the experimental structure in the PDB, you can see that it's quite similar. So we know that the prediction is good. Additionally, um, for cases that you don't have a convenient structure to reference, the mean PLDT and PTM values can usually be used to infer the quality of a prediction. So the PLDDT is range between 0 and 100, and over here it tells us that like this is a great prediction. Anything above 90 is a fantastic prediction. And same thing with PTM. It's, uh, it's range between 0 and 1, and anything above 90 is also a fantastic prediction. Next up, we have some confidence metrics. So over here, we have the PLDDT per residue. So PLDDT is actually a per residue metric that tells us the, conf the model's confidence in uh, a particular residue's spatial orientation and position. So the higher the values, the greater the model's confidence in the overall structure and in the particular residues that the values correspond to. We also have two other outputs, but we don't really need to worry about them for the context of this video. And yeah, this has been using uh, ESM Fold 2 on Neurosnap. If you have any questions or you want to make any suggestions for the next video, by all means leave a comment and uh, give us a like if you enjoyed the video.